Right guys, we've just finished a video there. Uh, we're just gonna head straight downstairs. We have on the dyno a Triumph Speed Triple 1200, a Euro 5 bike. We were very proud to be amongst the first globally to bring the Euro 5 Triumph mapping to you. We're continuing that now. We've got a, a bike downstairs that's got a Zard exhaust system fitted to it. So we're gonna see what we can do with that bike. the Triumph Speed Triple with the aftermarket Zard exhaust on it. This is one of those bikes that we were always really pleased to get into the workshop because we managed to improve it pretty much everywhere. Any RPM, any throttle opening, the whole bike is absolutely transformed. It's a bike modification that we're really proud of to be 100% honest with you. So at 25% throttle, we've gone from the blue line, which you can see is very, very erratic. The power comes on and it just drops off pretty much uh, straight away after about 6,000 RPM. Uh, the red line is what we've actually managed to achieve. You can see it's a much nicer looking parabola. At 50% throttle, again, we sorted out the fueling and now the bike comes on really strongly up to about 7,000 RPM where the standard bike is rather lacking. The power delivery is substantially more linear and far more smoothed out. Okay, above 75% throttle opening. Again, the bike is still lean up to about 7,000 RPM. So we sort that out, but Triumph limit the power that the bike makes at 75 and 100% RPM at the higher end of the rev range. You can see here above 7,000 RPM, the bike carries on producing more and more power as you get higher up in the rev range, whereas it does start to plateau on the standard graph. As far as 100% throttle is concerned, the bike has gone up from 163 to 172 brake horsepower. The stock bike with the stock exhaust system makes 157. So over a stock bike, this bike's gained 15 brake horsepower. As far as the mapping is concerned for that, Triumph really put a premature rev limiter on this bike. The bike is still making power all the way till it hits the rev limiter just over 10,000 RPM. Uh, we've increased that to just under 11,000 RPM uh, and you get a nice plateau of power at the end for the last thousand uh, brake horsepower. It gives you a little bit more rollover. Really, really happy with what we managed to achieve with this bike. This bike is available on our ECU flasher. So if you're not local to us and you still want a BHP UK bespoke remap, all you need to do is take a read from your bike, send that file to us and one of our map writers will write you a bespoke file for your bike. Please do hit the subscribe, the like, and the share buttons. It really does help us out and it keeps you notified of any new content that we bring into the channel.